Have you ever wondered if those 30 minutes of daily walking really benefit your health? Or have you heard that after a certain age, walking every day could wear down your joints and weaken your bones instead of strengthening them? We all know that physical activity is important, but is a simple walk enough to help you live longer, feel more energetic, and keep your body strong after 50? Or is it just a widely accepted myth? Today, we'll look at what science says about walking after 50, uncovering its real benefits, potential risks, and the best way to do it to maximize positive effects while avoiding problems. Some of the answers may surprise you. Many believe that walking is not real exercise because it's not as intense as running or weightlifting, but scientific studies suggest otherwise. A study published in the British Journal of Sports Medicine, which tracked more than 50,000 people for over 12 years, found that those who walk regularly live longer and have a lower risk of developing chronic diseases compared to those who are sedentary. Another study from Harvard University found that walking at least 7,000 steps a day reduces the risk of premature death by 50%. So if you think walking is just a casual activity, remember that it can literally extend your lifespan. But why does this happen? Let's find out. After 50, the heart becomes a top priority. The risk of high blood pressure, heart attacks, and strokes increases, so taking care of cardiovascular health is essential. The American Heart Association states that walking regularly helps lower blood pressure, improve circulation, and reduce bad cholesterol while increasing good cholesterol. A study from Harvard Medical School found that walking at least 30 minutes a day reduces the risk of developing heart disease by 35%. But it's not just the heart that benefits. Walking also helps reduce stress and improve sleep, two factors closely linked to cardiovascular health. After 50, many people start to notice memory decline, difficulty concentrating, and mental fatigue. Few realize that walking can be one of the best strategies to keep the brain young. A study from the University of California found that walking stimulates the production of new brain cells, improving memory and cognitive abilities. Similarly, research from the Mayo Clinic has shown that people who walk regularly reduce their risk of developing dementia and Alzheimer's by 40%. The reason is simple. Walking improves blood circulation to the brain, reduces stress, and increases the production of endorphins, which enhance mood and lower the risk of depression. But while walking benefits the brain, it is often criticized for its impact on the joints. So, is it true that walking every day can harm your knees? One of the most common concerns is that walking every day might wear down cartilage and worsen conditions like arthritis. But science tells a different story. A study from the Mayo Clinic found that walking not only doesn't harm the joints, but actually helps keep them lubricated and reduces joint pain. Movement stimulates the production of synovial fluid, a natural lubricant for the joints, preventing inflammation. However, for those who already suffer from joint pain, it's important to take some precautions. Avoiding very hard surfaces like concrete, wearing proper shoes with good support, and alternating walking with muscle-strengthening exercises to stabilize the joints. Now that we know walking is safe for the heart, brain, and joints, there's another big question. Does walking really help with weight loss and maintaining physical fitness? After 50, metabolism slows down and the body tends to store more fat, especially around the abdomen. Many believe that losing weight requires intense workouts, but walking can be a great way to burn calories without stressing the body. A study published in the Journal of Obesity found that walking at least 10,000 steps a day helps burn up to 500 calories. This means that with a consistent routine, it is possible to lose weight without drastic diets. But that's not all. Walking helps preserve muscle mass, which tends to decrease with age, keeping the body toned and strong. If you want to maximize the benefits of walking, there are a few strategies you can follow. 
maintaining a brisk pace without overexerting, alternating terrains with inclines to increase resistance, walking outdoors to benefit from sunlight and vitamin D production, and incorporating light weights or body weight exercises while walking to further engage the muscles. After analyzing scientific studies and the benefits of walking, the answer is clear. Yes, walking every day after 50 is one of the most effective habits for improving health, slowing aging, and living longer. Now I want to hear from you. How many steps do you take each day? Write it in the comments and share your experience.